Hello, I'm back. First of all, apologies that I haven't done one of these reviews of London fitness classes for a while. I've just been ridiculously busy, so I've got a little bit to catch up on. Um, I've been to 110 cycle, which I got given, so I'm going to review it and use it as a benchmark for other cycle classes. But, as I've done with all these other vlogs, I like to pay for it so I can give a fair, unbiased review of everything. So, I've got 110 to review, I've got KXU that I went to in Sloan Square, and then today, I went to Barry's Boot Camp, so that's what I'm going to be reviewing. It's been an absolute nightmare trying to get to a Barry's Boot Camp, especially with Faisal. So, I've done a Barry's Boot Camp before and I did it with a guy called George, but I did it the day after Notting Hill Carnival, which was a huge mistake. So, I was really, really hungover, so I just wanted to get out of the class as soon as possible. Then I didn't vlog it straight away afterwards, then I left it a couple of days, I forgot what had happened. So, I thought I need to go again, and I wanted to do Faisal's class anyway, so I finally got there. But, it's taken me three attempts, so the first time I tried to get there, I got drunk and set my alarm for 7.30 when the class started at 7.30. Uh, the second time, I booked it for completely the wrong weekend. I thought I was going last Saturday and I booked it for the Saturday before. What an idiot. But finally, I've made it today and yeah, I'm going to do a review for you. So Barry's Bootcamp is actually a global brand. They're in America, Canada, Dubai, Sweden, Norway, London. And then within London, I think there's three or four different ones. Anyway, I went to Barry's Bootcamp West, which is at Queensway. It's so easy to get to. I live in Shepherd's Bush, so literally just jump straight on the tube, and then it is literally next door to Queensway Tube Station. So really easy to get to. The class is £20, which as I go to more and more of these classes, they're all around that price. So you're looking to pay between £20 and £30, actually. So towards the lower end, and you get an hour of it. So it's good value from that perspective. The setup of the class is very similar to One Rebel, which I've already reviewed. If you haven't seen that, go and check out my other videos. But basically, your time is split between on the treadmill and on the floor. And actually, with this class, you can do double floor. But I don't see the point in that. You can just go to the gym and do weights yourself. So I chose to do Barry's this weekend because I'm really into my running at the moment. I've actually changed up my training a little bit. Actually, let's speak about that. So predominantly, I do HIIT training. But for the last three weeks, and I'm going to do it for another two weeks, I've been doing something that I like to call LIT. So you've heard of HIT, which is high intensity interval training, and you've heard of LIST, which is lower intensity steady state. I'm introducing a new one called LIT, so it's longer interval intensity training. Now, it's not anything out of the ordinary with regards to training, but I like a gimmick, and my ethos is all about LITness, so the balance of lifestyle and fitness, so I've made up a running technique to adhere to that. As I've said, it's a mixture between LIST and HIT. So, from a fat burning perspective, LIT is incredibly successful. So when we look at LIST training, which is lower intensity steady state, it's basically you just you jog on the running machine. This is only burning calories while you're working. So HIT stands for high intensity interval training. So it means you're working towards your maximum heart rate for smaller intervals with a rest period afterwards. What this does is it creates an oxygen debt within your body, which means your metabolic rate is increased after exercise in order to try and get your oxygen levels back to what they were at resting heart rate. So this new lit theory which I'm talking about ties in with my whole ethos of litness which is the balance of lifestyle and fitness and of course I've given it a gimmicky name called lit. So it's longer interval intensity training. So similarly to HIT, the intensity is still there which means you are still creating that oxygen debt in your body so it means your body is going to keep working at a higher rate post exercise. HIIT training has become increasingly popular over the last couple of years and it's because of the afterburn effect that you get from doing the exercise. So this is perfect for fat loss because not only are you burning calories while you're working out, because your body's working so hard to get back to that resting state, you continue to burn uh, calories for hours afterwards. Not only that, because you're working for longer intervals, you're going to be increasing your cardiovascular fitness. As you increase your cardiovascular fitness, you're going to be able to run for longer and at a higher intensity. So not only are you getting fitter, you're able to burn more calories in less time and you're creating that afterburn effect, which is going to keep your body burning fat for hours afterwards. So basically, what I've been doing for the last three weeks, as I said, I've been running a mile and just trying to improve my time on that. Resting for two minutes, then doing that again, and then in total doing that three times. So I think... When I started, I was running at 15 kilometers an hour for a mile, which means you do a mile in about six and a half minutes, then rest for two minutes. At first, I was doing a completely stop um, rest, but now I've got it up to a walking rest, which is better. Um, and yeah, I've got my time from 15 kilometers an hour to 16 kilometers an hour, so really, really improving. This new training that I'm talking about isn't anything revolutionary. It's what runners and sprinters do to get fitter, stronger, faster but I've just given it a nice gimmicky name. So back to Barry's boot camp. It's split between the treadmill and the floor. I started on the treadmill, which I'd advise doing because 
you don't want to be running for your last set after doing loads of weight. So start on the treadmill. The only downside with this class is you don't do a proper warm up. It feels like you pretty much get straight into it. So there's my temps tip for this one. If you are going to do the class, make sure you do a thorough warm up before you get there. So I walked up the steps at Queensway, did a few stretches anyway, but I did just feel a little bit cold going into it still. I've done it before and it was ridiculously hard, so I thought I'd go back and try and beat what I'd done before. So basically, in Barry's Bootcamp class, they give you three options. So he'll say, start your speed at 8, 9 and 10. And the first time I went, I was setting the speeds at sort of like the middle one, so I'd be on 9. So where I've been training for the last three weeks and practicing my running, I was actually able to stick to the top speeds this time, which was really, really good. And it was good for me to see how much I'd improved. Anyway, the first run on the treadmill was all about endurance. You start off on level 6, 7 or 8, so I started on 8. So, um, and then periodically throughout the 10 minutes I think the first round is you just increase your speed every so often um, and yeah it gets your heart rate going I suppose it is a warm up because it eases you into it but it's still really really intense so by the last minute you're like running on level 14 or something stupid like that so from your first round of cardio you go to the floor and this was particularly hard Pfizer was running the class and he gave us three options of weights to pick up it was like for the guys maybe a 10, a 12 and a half and a 15. Do not try and be the big man in the class and pick the 15s up. I made that mistake and it was ridiculous because you can't even do the exercises properly. So I had to go and swap so I could do it properly. So you're working out some of these for like a minute at a time. So if you're thinking about doing curls for a minute, so you're not gonna be able to do that on 15. So pick a sensible weight is my first tip of the day. And yeah, get the exercise done properly. Don't try and be the macho man in the class. Not that I was, but I like to push myself, but it was just, there's a difference between pushing yourself hard and not being able to do the bloody exercise. So the 7.30 class with Faisal on a Saturday morning is a full body workout. So we started off with a bit of abs and it wasn't just one ab exercise, one arm exercise, one shoulder exercise. It was three ab exercises. So by the end of it, you're absolutely killing and you're crying out to just move on to a different body part. So yeah, we started off with some abs. Um, what else did we do? All sorts of stuff. Shoulder press. I liked all the variations he was doing. This is a good one. I'll show you what it is. So, arms by the side. Give this one a go in the gym, actually. Push up, chest press, over, back, down, down. If anybody can see me through my window, that one's obviously not open, but that one is, they will think I'm some sort of weirdo. Yeah, anyway, back in the room. So yeah, I don't want to delve too much into what else you're doing. It's basically a full body workout, but I like the variations that Pfizer was doing. So it wasn't just standing there doing dumbbell curls. He was making it actually a full body workout. So it was front lunge, um, yeah, front lunges into a bicep curl or um, a, like squat into a shoulder press. So it really was total body and it just I was absolutely sweating by the end of it. So not only does Faisal get you motivated, when you're on the running machine, you can see the person next to you. It's obviously a bit of a competition, so you can see them like on 11, you can see them on 12, and it's just basically making you want to keep up with the rest of the class, which I absolutely love. Second round on the treadmill was an incline round, absolutely disgusting, incline seven, running uphill at a fast pace for two minutes. So again, as I've spoken about, HIIT training is typically 20 seconds, 30 seconds with a 30 second or 40 second rest. This is longer working periods for two minutes, so you're creating that oxygen debt, you're working your body hard, you're working your cardiovascular fitness, but it's just over a longer period. So I actually really like this type of training, and I was getting a bit bored of it, so which is why I've changed it up and started increasing the time of that I'm working out for, um, and yeah, really liking it. And if you are getting bored of it, or you're thinking it's getting a bit too easy, it shouldn't ever get easy because you should do it to your maximum, but... I just find I can reach a higher heart rate by doing stuff over a longer period because when you're sprinting, there kind of is a maximal output that you can do, whereas over a longer period, you can get your heart rate up. Then we went back onto the floor, more full body exercises. There was like renegade rows, um, more curls. My arms were actually killing. I did them yesterday as well, and then it was really arms intensive today, so I'm in absolute bits, and I know I'm going to be struggling tomorrow. Um, yeah, so second round on the floor. Then we went back to the treadmill, and this time it was shorter times, but a, uh, but a faster pace. <laughs> I get the feeling with Barry's that it's very efficient and you're in, out. There's no time to hang around. Like There's no massive communal space. There's a little area where you wait outside before going in. You can get a shake and stuff afterwards, but I get the impression this is for the busy city guy who just wants to get in, smash an unbelievably hard workout and get out. When you compare it to the likes of KXU, which I'll do a review about later, 
um, and other places. It's more of a community. BXR as well, they've got a nice cafe there and you can sit, chill out, have a coffee. Whereas I get the feeling with this, it's very much in out, which if you're trying to keep fit in the city is absolutely perfect. And these are all centrally located. So I guess the vibe from it is exactly what they're trying to create. It's not really a, pl a positive or a negative. It's just an observation. It was a good mix of people in the class today as well. I guess because of the area, close to Notting Hill, Kensington, it was sort of like late 20s to early 30s people, middle class, no dickheads in there. So yeah, all good from that perspective. Yeah, I don't know what else there is to say about it. So we've got money, 20 quid, absolute value. The intensity of the class was ridiculous. The variation was brilliant. Faisal was absolutely amazing. Follow the guy on Instagram and he's such a motivational person to follow on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just wanted to be in one of his classes and live that PMA mentality with him and it was a great class and I love doing that. All the trainers there are really good but I would recommend going with Faisal. What does he do? He does like a pose. It looks like I'm dabbing but he does some sort of pose. But yeah, no, he's a great guy. So yeah, to summarise Barry's Bootcamp West, I would say it's absolutely great value for money. It's 20 quid, which is at the lower end of other classes that I've been to. You get an hour-long class, which again, value for money. You're getting more time for the 20 quid. Um, very clean, you get a towel, nice changing room, stuff like that. I didn't bother hanging around and having a shower because, as I say, the vibe of the place is very much get in, get a workout done and get away from there. So I like the efficiency of it. I'd definitely recommend doing it with Faisal, but if you can't get it done with him, all the other trainers are really good. I did it with a guy called George before, and I got loads of motivation out of his class. I'm going to say it, this is the best class that I've been to in London so far. If you know any better ones, make sure you shout them out to me, but this gets a 9 out of 10 for me. The intensity is there, it's in and out, I love the efficiency, it was a great full body workout, it varies, you're really getting a sweat on. Uh, the competition from around the room and the motivation that Faisal, the trainer, was giving me was absolutely incredible. And I just love that group workout buzz. You're trying to compete with the people next to you. The music's absolutely blaring. Faisal's on the mic, giving it all the PMA stuff. Yeah, overall, just a really, really good class for me. And I think I might try and do that every couple of weeks because with the training that I'm doing, remember it, lit, it is longer interval intensity training. This fits in so well with what Barry's Bootcamp's doing and I think it's a good benchmark to go back every couple of weeks and see how well you can improve. I don't struggle for motivation that much. I can get on a treadmill in the gym and push myself to my maximal heart rate or near it, but every now and then I'm thinking, oh, I really don't want to do this. And that's where Barry's is perfect. When you know you need to get a session in but you're not feeling motivated, I would 100% say to yourself, just book one of these classes, get in there and get it done. As soon as you get Faisal on the mic, you've got the music pumping, you've got the people around you keeping you motivated, there's just no turning back. You don't want to look like a pussy in the class, so you just give it your all get the workout done and as I say it's really efficient you're in and out with that within an hour and yeah it's just a great way to get an early morning workout in and set yourself up for the week for the weekend for the day for whatever it's just a really good positive class to go to so on that note I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 that's top of the league at the moment if you've got any more recommendations for me make sure you shout them out but in the meantime I'm going to go and find myself another fitness class somebody's ringing me so I'll see you later